not sure that uh, anybody wants to know about this, but the fan went through my radiator on the way up here. Mm -hmm. So the old Packard that's behind me is right now disabled, but she'll get fixed and I'll be taking her home pretty soon. We went to uh, Stan Ewer's place. Uh, I'm the proprietor here at Classic Coach Works in Blenheim, Ontario, Canada. We're a little shop here. Uh, I, I'm here all by myself, all day, every day. I, I'm, I'm a history, big history fanatic anyway, and uh, uh, and I love preserving history. We, we don't do hot rods here. We bring everything back to exactly as original, the, the way they left the factory. And, uh, uh, you know, my, my 39 years in the business has gotten me to a point where uh, uh, I, I consider myself quite a, quite an expert on most pre-war vehicles as far as originality and authenticity goes uh, and details to, to make them correct. This is a 23, a little nothing company that had a, the same engine six years earlier, right? He's a master restorer and he can do anything. He does ground up restorations, including mechanical, painting, all the body work, woodwork, upholstery. Guy's a real genius. Okay guys, welcome. Uh, we're gonna kick off the Friday night portion here very shortly. Um, we got people here from quite a distance, okay? So uh, thank you so much and it's, it's uh, just awesome to have everybody here. Uh, we've uh, had a quick chat with the boys in blue and uh, we, uh, we thought it best for everybody that we just follow normal traffic rules through town and uh, avoid getting into an escort and trying to shut down, uh, shut down intersections and whatnot. So by my count, we've got 15 rigs that are gonna do this little tour tonight. Um, a lot of shows would be proud to have that. We're doing it as our kickoff for tomorrow. Uh, of the 15, I think all but four or five of the drivers are local, so you know your way around. Right, well, we were riding uh, in all the fire vehicles last night through town, and all the little kids were out there just cheering on except for some of the girls who were holding their ears because the sirens were too loud. I've never been in a fire in a uh, police car before, much less a 51 Chrysler. So that was quite a thing. And the Chrysler, for people who didn't know, had a funkiest transmission ever. So it goes from zero to 60 in about an hour and a half. But it was fun riding in it. Firefest was born in 2012 when my brother-in-law and my father and a few of our friends decided that we wanted to bring the, uh, the fire muster circuit to Chatham-Kent. And uh, since 2012, we've grown the event to be the largest of its kind in Canada. We've had several feature guests and feature vehicles come uh, on an annual basis to, to Firefest, which generally attracts between 15 and 20,000 people per day. Uh, this year, uh, our feature vehicles include the Detroit Memorial Rig, uh, which is uh, the f being shown in Canada, outside the United States for the very first time. And um, obviously the pinnacle of our, uh, of our offering this year is the 1927 Packard Ambulance. Uh, that Doc was kind enough to arrange to, to bring up uh, here for uh, showing in Detroit and then uh, in today in Firefest. Um, today we have pieces that range in year from 1840 to 1999. So we got uh, a good 150 year-ish spread of uh, the evolution of fire apparatus. So we're completely thrilled with the event and we're beyond uh, ecstatic that uh, Doc Vitek could be here with his, uh, with his 27 Packard ambulance to really make the show maximize its uh, potential. <laughs> a few years ago was we had two old uh, 1937 sea graves that they put together and now we made this into our fallen firefighter in the line of duty in Michigan this is their final ride we take them this is their final ride on the fire 
truck to the resting spot. So it's kind of a, a beautiful, beautiful way to send them out for giving their lives. I'm the, I'm the ringmaster. You're the ringmaster? I'm the ringmaster. Right. Detroit Fire Department clown team. Right. Yeah. All right, and uh, just a minute. Well, the, the clown, our clown team started in 1938. This is our 81st year clowning. Uh, we have this 1958 pickup truck. That, uh, that's our, our original clown rig. We do, uh, we do hospital stuff. We do uh, stuff for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. We do a lot of different parades. Uh, Kids Without a Christmas gigs. We do somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 gigs a year, and I think we have about 35 clowns on the team right now. I uh, have no idea. I just like being a clown. It's uh, something that has a lot of tradition in the fire department, and uh, I wanted to be involved with the guys that I was working with and, and do something, and this is a good thing to give back to the community. It's all voluntary, so it takes a lot of time and effort and uh, sometimes a lot of our own personal money, but uh, it, it keeps us involved with the community and each other. So, uh, it's, you know, I, I don't know what drew me to it in the, in the beginning, but it had some kind of ring to it. And I, I decided to get in and I really love it. I've been doing it for 12 years now, I think. Firefest is a big deal. Never seen so many rigs, as they call them, in one place. Everybody had a total blast. And uh, this is not something that you want to do if you're feeling weak and under the weather. You want to be big and strong because there's a lot of big equipment and a lot of big people moving around. It's great fun. I find the vehicles to be remarkable that each one of them has, has their own story to tell, their own history. I consider each one of them to be a piece of industrial art. Um, and I just love the fact that uh, the owners love these rigs, love these vehicles, and uh, bring them back to life and are, are proud to show them. Uh, as far as our hobby is concerned, I think, I think we're blessed to be in, uh, in a hobby that has some of the finest people on the planet. It, uh, just the community is so for each other. Um, it doesn't matter your age, your wealth, uh, it's the passion that counts. And not just the passion for your rig, but the, uh, the enlightenment you get from your neighbor's rig or your friend's rig or somebody you've just met for the first time, what they've brought to the show. And uh, I just love the sense of brotherhood and community and uh, just how we're all there for each other and uh, the, the relationships that have been built as a result of Firefest and, and to a large extent through the magazine as well. It, it's just been remarkable and it's, it's humbling and it uh, just inspires me to, to keep doing what we're doing here and keep participating with as many musters as we can all over Canada and the United States.